expect the unexpected. She's a sweet widow from Nebraska. He's an old metalhead with metal in his head and covered in tattoos. Now that's a twist. Big Brother fans, we are back with another spoiler for you. We have the nominations were yesterday, so we know who it was. And we are going to let you know all about it. But before we do that, you got a chance to watch the HOH competition. So let's talk about that. What you think about how that competition went. That was crazy, 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 crazy. I mean, honestly, I can't believe they lasted as long as they did. Yeah. I mean, when it got down to the final two, they hung on there for a long time together, just those two, didn't they? Yeah. And it was painful to watch. I mean, I, it just was painful. It was one of those, it was like a, it was like a car wreck on the interstate. You know how it is. You kind of, you don't want to look cause it's hard to look at, but you can't help but look. Yeah. And, oh man, that was brutal. And I even, think that was the most brutal competition I remember ever seeing on Big Brother. And even when they were like showing, you know, the, the bleacher crowd over there, the ones that were already out, you could still hear the thump yeah. of them getting hit, man. So you could hear a couple of them were really good ones. And Casey, I mean, was she just a little trooper? I'm telling you, man. You can, she held on no matter what. I, I was, oh, man, that and, was impressive. And she said she was like feeling sick in the first minute of that thing and held on that long you know so i mean the entire competition she was feeling ill <laughs> yeah i heard sam talk about how she she was sick on there too and how well she didn't throw up but she got queasy and how it was the cafe or lay or some coffee drink that they drank before they got to yeah the yeah i did hear sam say she was sick and so that's when she said I'm, i think i'm done guys i think i'm done and then she dropped and just laid there for a second and then she went over and they put that towel down for her just to lay out on because she wasn't feeling too good either. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, I, I want to say this about Haley. I, she, you know, she annoys me in a lot of ways, but <laughs> if you're going to go by just tenacity, she should have won that HOA. They should have given it to her anyway. <laughs> I mean, I know if it wasn't a game just because she's tiny, she took some hits that were brutal. And Tyler's a bigger guy. He could take it, but she really got banged around. She did, but let me, let me, let me point this out. To you. I don't know if you caught it or not, but early on, I don't know if it was just the positioning of things or she was just getting lucky, but I noticed a lot of times that she, when she was going around, she was just nicking the edge of that little pie and kind of spinning around and going. And then when she'd get around to the thing, the mustard would squirt, and then she'd go by, and then the ketchup would squirt, and then she would go by, and she her back was covered in her legs from hitting the pie and getting that stuff on. But that ketchup and mustard never touched her. And then Brett came around, and it was dead shots, right in the face, right in the chest, right in the back, and then he'd hit, go through, and then the next one, and he was just getting pummeled. And then here comes Haley. Squirt, squirt, and she got missed every single time. And then at the end, when it was just her and Tyler, that's when they really started pounding her. But up until that point, she was kind of getting off pretty easy the way I saw it anyway. I want to talk about obnoxious Scotty during that time because that was about, I mean, I just couldn't take it. it. His voice just grinds on you. And he wouldn't. Sh- it's not just his voice. It's the fact that he would not shut up. His mouth was running like a duck's ass. He would not shut up. Oh, and what what is the deal with it? Am I just old and don't get it? Why does he call the girls daddy? I don't understand that. Where's that come from? I, I don't know. I don't know. But he was doing his little stupid song parody things where he was, you know, oh, you know. Hit me with your best shot and, you know, all that other stuff or whatever he was singing. But all of a sudden, again, we're there intently watching the HOH competition when we get fish. Why? Because Scotty won't shut his damn mouth and keep singing his dumb stuff, saying dumb shit. Oh, I just, he was, he was really annoying me. As much as I wanted him in the house, 
the only one of those four that I wanted back in the house was Scotty. I was regretting my decision because mm-hmm. he was annoying the hell out of me. <laughs> yep, I agree. <laughs> I agree. What about uh, our big, <laughs> our big comp beast JC, who decided, eh? I don't have to win anything. I'm going to skate through the final two. I'm just going to drop now because I don't want to hang up here and get all dirty. I'm going to go over here and eat gummy worms with Angela. (laughs) Yeah, he came off clean as a whistle, literally. (laughs) He's so worthless. (laughs) He is worthless. I mean, I don't, he's got to be better at these competitions than this. He's got to be. There's no way he can't do something because he is, this whole season, he has been absolute crap at all these comps so it's either that he really does suck that bad or he just is that confident and he feels that he doesn't need to win anything because he's just going to skate the whole way through what do you think i agree completely i the honeymoon's over as far as i'm concerned i mean i love big brother i love to watch it but after a while if you watch it a lot these people start grinding on you, just like, like I said, the honeymoon's over, and the charm of JC has left. It left the building, and I'm so tired of him and Scotty. I yeah. just can't take it. Well, so the competition, it was a good one. Again, it was down to, uh, well, the final three was uh, Casey, Angela, and Tyler, and Casey the trooper who was sick pretty much from the beginning of the competition who was blowing chunks, but she was hanging in there. She finally slipped off. And then again, it was Tyler and Haley and uh, they hung in there a long, long time to both of them. But Haley was definitely a trooper, but that last thump. Whoa. Yeah. That's the one that got her, sent her straight down, and it was over, and Tyler did win. So that takes us to Tyler's the HOH, and right. yesterday was Noms, and go ahead. Tell them who, Tyler. Well, it's no surprise. Scotty and Haley are on the block again. Again. And Haley was a little bit upset. Everybody was kind of in groups talking and she was in a room by herself crying. Yeah. So I'm not sure what the uh, plan is. I kind of missed, I was in and out watching the live feeds because sorry, but anymore it's just so boring. They do nothing still just lay around and do nothing. A little bit of chatter. Tyler had his one-on-ones that weren't really eventful, except JC's, but yeah. And watching girls put on mascara for hours is just not that interesting. Yeah, so yeah, I'm kind of in and out with the feeds, so I really didn't catch a whole lot of what was going on. Little stuff here and there, but um, I'll tell you what I think they need to do is, one, anytime anybody comes back in the house, my opinion is they were out of the house. They had a chance to do We don't know what, who they talked to, what they talked about. They need to go because they may have information that could blow up my game. And that, that would be, and it doesn't matter what season, what person it is. If you go out of the house and you come back in, you need to go back out because we don't know what you found out during that little week or whatever it was that you were out. You need to go. So in my opinion, Scotty is probably the most dangerous person in the house at the time. Because he has time away to sit and think and formulate stuff without all the chaos going on around and without people in his ear. So he had this time to figure out, go, hmm. So that's probably why this happened. And that's probably why I went out and, oh. And then plus he's in that jury house with other people telling him, well, this is what we think and da-da-da-da-da-da. So if they come in like that when we've all been in here the whole time without any outside information or outside influences, He's dangerous and he needs to go. And that's just my opinion on any, like I said, any season, any person, you go out, you come back in, you need to go first. You need to get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, yeah, I see that too. Um, Scotty is, is so, he wants to be one of the cool kids so bad that he is easily influenced. 
So if I was in that house, I would use that to my advantage because he can about be tucked into anything and then letting the cat out of the bag, how he feels about Haley. That yeah. could be a real useful piece of information. It could be. And well, they don't know that, but we do. We know he told Julie that his, uh, his plan was to go back in and get in good graces with Tyler again and uh, try to ride that wave out. But he said, that's my plan now. Once I get in there, who knows? It could change. So I don't know. Apparently it didn't work out real well because Tyler's HOH and put him right on the block. So I don't know. Is it Tyler's ploy to keep everybody's, you know, focus off of him and Scotty if they did make a little deal? Or is Haley the distraction, you know, to say, look, girl, you did awesome in that HOH, but um, I'm going to put her up anyway, but she's not really the one that I'm looking for. I don't know. I don't know what his plan is. I really didn't catch any of that. I don't know if you did or not. I would love to find out what when he when he went to hug her, you know, Haley, after he won, he whispered something in her ear. I wish I could have heard what that was. I think that would have been a, kind of an important piece of information. Yeah, I do too. I I I said the same thing on our yesterday video that I I seen him slide over there and hug her, and he said something, but I couldn't make out what it was. But I was kind of hoping it was like. You know, you're a beast and you deserve a break this week. But <laughs> apparently that wasn't what he said because she is on the block next to Scotty. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that Scotty is the target. I mean, I'm with you. Uh, Haley does annoy me in many ways. But after that competition, I think she deserves yeah. to stay at least one more week. Um, but then again, it's a game. And after watching that comp beast, she needs to go too because <laughs> you can see that she's determined. So we don't want her around too awfully long. But you know, boy, they both her and Tyler and Casey, especially, they have got to be sore still today. I mean, oh, yeah. I can't imagine going through that and not feeling like you got hit by a truck. All I can say is, I bet Angela was sitting there looking, going, "I'm glad I ain't ruining my clothes in this competition." <laughs> She sat here with a little dip, dipping stick, eating that sour stuff and yeah, just eating popcorn, enjoying the whole thing. She's just cool little cucumber, Angela. You never know what's going to go through her brain. I, I, could, I could almost hear her go Whew, when Tyler won. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, you know, if just about anybody else in there would have won, you know, she would have been on the block. I don't mean to be a bitchy old lady, but. It did grind on me towards the end. I think it was, I would, well, with, with Tyler and, and Haley there, I, I, I really like Casey, but if I have to hear, let's go, let's go. If I have to hear that one more time, my ears are going to bleed. And I'm really tired of hearing, you're doing great, guys. You're doing great. I just, I know they're trying to be positive and helpful, but it just, I don't know, something about that something about that competition it, it like i couldn't stand to not watch it but it made me crazy some of those people <laughs> i was kind of feeling the same way between casey and sam was there yes you guys are doing great you guys are doing great go Haley. oh you too you too <laughs> you're yeah. doing great let's go come on you're doing yeah it did kind of get annoying <laughs> after a while yeah, it, it, uh, all right. Just had to vent that a little bit. Yeah, no, it wasn't just you. It was, well, I'm a grumpy old guy, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is us grumpy old people. I don't know. I think, I don't know. It just sort of grinded on me after a while. <laughs> but I would, I would have kind of liked to have seen how Angela would have done in that competition. I am, I'm yeah. very curious of how she would have done. But, uh, what do you think? I, I think she would have been. I think she knows her ass is, it's getting to the point where her ass is going to be on the line. Mm -hmm. And I think she can feel the target on her. So I think she would have hung in there no matter what. She, I think she would have been Haley, you know, I got to win this no matter what. And I'm not, I'm not falling, you know, and that's, you could yeah. just see that that's what Haley was. It was like, if I don't win, I'm going home, you know, and she had that in her. And I think Angela would have had the same thing. You know, yeah, well, now maybe if it was her and Tyler, you know, both, then she probably wouldn't have cared. But because uh, I think she is confident that Tyler's going to drag her along. But uh, 
she's got to be feeling that heat that, you know, JC will put me up. Haley's going to put me up. Uh, Sam would put me up. Uh, Brett, I don't know, but he would probably put me up to, you know, I think she's got to be thinking that in her head. And if she's not, she's kind of silly because I think everybody in there's like, she's got to go. Cause she's, she knows that. Cause she's strong. She's smart. She's confident. She has got to go. She knows that. Yeah. She, do you ever notice she always had that sort of Cheshire, Cheshire cat smile. <laughs> Just even when people talk to her, she has that little smile. Yep. And it's kind of evil. It is. She is so devious, <laughs> but she's always thinking. You can tell she's always thinking. Yeah. Well, our little buddy, JC, who is uh, talking about grinding my nerves, that little guy is really working on my last nerve. First of all, when Scotty came back in the house, JC wanted to know everything and anything about that damn jury house. Where'd you go? Who took you? you, Oh, you you went to a hotel first? How long? Where was it? How nice was it? Who paid for it? Who was with you? Oh, what's the jury house like? Can you sleep all day? Because I like to sleep all day. I would love to sleep all day. Oh, you get to eat? Is the food better there? Oh, it's better there? Oh, so I get to sleep all day and eat all day? Is there a pool? Is there a gym? And he was just going on and on and on. And of course, Scotty's just like answering every single question. So all we saw was fish all, you know, mm-hmm. blah, 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 fish, fish, because they're not supposed to be talking about that shit. And then the next thing about JC was, uh, I saw a little bit of Tyler's one-on-ones before noms and uh, they were pretty uneventful. Mm. I missed, I missed Haley's. Unfortunately, I didn't catch that one, but I did catch JC's <laughs> and it was quite entertaining. I, did, I didn't know, see that. When JC yeah. talks, it's always funny, but of course he went up there and told Tyler exactly what he needed to do and what he should do and what he was going to do because I'm JC and I told you what to do. So. You're going to do that, right? But yeah, he laid down the law and was like, you know, Scotty's dangerous and this and Haley and you're going to put them up, right? And blah, 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 blah. He just laid it all down. But the funniest thing was, the, the funny out of all of it, and I got to say, well, there's two funny things. He had a little dog, a little stuffed dog that I get, guess Tyler got in his little basket. And um, they were talking about that. And Tyler was like, I think it was mine from a kid. It kind of looks like one that I had. I don't know. My mom probably just found it and threw it in and said, send it to him. But JC says, <laughs> he's holding up this little dog. He says, <laughs> doesn't it look like Caitlin? And, and Tyler was like, it does look like Caitlin. <laughs> but it was so funny. It has the same eyes and everything. It looks like Caitlin. Oh. But that was the one thing. And then their attention turned to Bailey. And they started talking about Bailey. And JC's all laid out on the couch over there. And he goes, Bailey, every time I talk to her, she did. (laughs) Really? I thought it was hilarious. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad to hear that. Because remember, we talked about this a while ago, how annoying it was. (laughs) And JC was like, every time she talked to me, she'd go, <laughs> what was wrong with her? <laughs> so, Bailey, if you're watching this, please make an appointment for an ear, nose, and throat doctor because we are worried about you. Yeah, man. But, yeah, that was the – I just – I literally, literally, LOL'd. I laughed out. I was rolling when he said that. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> It was just so, she always do that. Why? Why? What's wrong with her? <laughs> and that was so fun. I just, I don't know. It just hit me at the right yeah. time and it caught me uh-huh. off guard and I wasn't expecting it. And it, I just laughed my ass off. <laughs> well, yeah, because I thought maybe we, it, we heard, well, first of all, I noticed it more after you pointed it out to me and I thought it was more amplified because of the mic that she was hooked up to. But she must like really for real do that obnoxiously all the time. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but boy, it was annoying to me. And apparently it was annoying to JC too. He was not having it. (laughs) All right, guys, we're going to uh, wind this one down, bring it to an end. So noms for yesterday. We know that 
Scotty won the battle back. He's back in the house. Played the HOH competition. Tyler was the winner. Tyler put up Scotty and Haley. No surprise. So we will be keeping an eye on the house and the goings on, and we will let you know what is going on. And tomorrow, make sure you come back because we're going to let you know about the POV competition. That is right. We'll tell you who was picked, who played in it. And I think only what one person doesn't play. Oh no, that's right. Somebody's back. So there'll be two out again. So everybody except two will play again. And uh, we'll tell you who won. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right. You don't want to miss it. So check us out tomorrow. But for now, this is totally Kathy and blind views. And that's the way we see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.